Now that you know the main trigonometric ratios, we are going to do an example. So the example says, given the triangle below, find all meeting sides by using the trigonometric ratios seen before, which means you have to use sine, cos or tan to find out the value of C and the value of B. We will start with C. Right, keep an eye on this. C is actually the hypotenuse. This is the side that is in front of the right angle. So now, we know the value of theta, which is 53 degrees. Therefore, we need to find a trigonometric ratio that is relating the known values, as is theta equal to 53 and also A equal to 9, with the value we are trying to find out, which is the value of C. To find C, we need to think about a trigonometric ratio that relates C, A, and theta. We know C is the hypotenuse. Now, A is the side opposite to theta. Therefore, the trigonometric ratio relating both is actually sine of theta, which is opposite side over hypotenuse. So in our case we know that sine of 53 is equal to 9 over C and we want to get C. So if we multiply across by C we have C by sine of 53 is equal to 9 and then to get C by itself we just divide by sine of 53 in both sides of the equation. So we have C is equal 9 over sine of 53. If we just type 9 over sine of 53 in the calculator, we get that C is 11.26 centimeters. The only thing that you have to remember when you are dealing with sine, cos, or tan is that you have the right units in your calculator. So just make sure that in your calculator, on top of the screen, it says D of degrees. Now, in order to get B, you could apply Pythagoras, as you know, two of the sides of the right angle triangle. However, it's better to use the information that you've been given rather than using your own results. So in this case, to get B, you just need to think about a trigonometric ratio that relates A B and theta. So as we know A is the opposite side and we know B is the adjacent side then the right trigonometric ratio to use in this case will be tan of theta. So tan of theta will be opposite over adjacent. You have just put back the values that we know will have tan of 53 is equal 9 over B. To get B, we just multiply across by B in both sides of the equation. So we have B tan of 53 is equal to 9. And then divided by tan of 53 in both sides, we get that B is equal to 9 over tan of 53. If we divide 9 over tan of 53, we get that B is 6.78 centimeters.